Hi, my name's Kayleen, and I'm going to be showing you a day in my life here at Oregon State. Hey! <laughs> so I'm going to be taking you on a day in my life at Oregon State University today. You can come on campus and get a campus tour, but are you really going to figure out what you're going to be doing as a student? That's kind of what I want to show you today is those secret pockets, those study tips, those things that you might not learn while just looking at campus as a whole. So that's kind of the goal of today. I think I'm, myself, I'm pretty experienced. I'm going into my fourth year here at Oregon State. I'm studying psychology with minors in film studies and organizational leadership, which is a lot, but it keeps me busy and one day I want to go into human resources, so all of that really helps to make my degree worth it in the real world. I'm going to be showing you just some tips and tricks to really get the most out of your experience here at Oregon State and use it to your full potential. So let's get to it. Alright, so we just got to Kelly Engineering Center. I picked up some food from the cafe. I got a muffin as well as a drink. It's their like monthly special, which those are always really nice to grab. This one's mint and lavender, which is very interesting, um, but pretty good. Um, you're never that far from food on campus, like in general. We've got three main dining halls, which are awesome for just getting a snack. And then pretty much any building has like some sort of cafe, pastry shop, coffee. So you're never that far from your caffeine or snack fix here on campus, which is awesome. I'm a little bit early to my one class today. I'm taking three right now, which is really nice. It's about 12 credits. Most students take about 12 to 15, so it's like your average workload. You could take up to 19, I've done that a few times. I do not recommend it, but it is a nice way to get a lot of credits done at one time. Maybe if you're behind in credits or something like that. Uh, but one way you can kind of like spice up your term a little bit if you want to take some interesting classes is just reading through the course catalog, seeing if there's any that really stick out to you. And then always feel free to ask your advisor to see if they can count for either your back core or maybe as elective credits. And then you can also just kind of flex that you're taking a really cool class, which is really fun. So you can learn a lot from those ones. Oh. It's time for class. All right, have a great day. All right, time to go study at the MU. I made it to the Memorial Union. I'm gonna be doing some studying in here today. So I brought my laptop. This is also a great place to take a nap. It may not look like it, but a lot of these couches are super comfy. It's at least in my top three. I would say like the link is maybe number two and then mm, Moreland Hall would probably be my number one. It's so quiet and peaceful in there. But anyways, this is a great place to hang out with friends, study. It's really nice if you can get a group in here because productivity just skyrockets once you have friends. So really nice stuff, but I'm gonna get some work done. Oh, so story time. I used to be the worst at studying in high school, and so I knew when I came to college I wanted to make some sort of change in my study habits. Freshman and sophomore year, I kind of figured it out on my own, watched a lot of TikToks, but nothing really was sticking. And then junior year, I found out about the Academic Success Center located in Waldo, and that changed my study habits for probably the better. They do kind of like weekly appointments or kind of build it on based on your schedule, but they have worksheets that you can fill out either with them or by yourself. Or maybe if you just want to like really focus on one specific assignment, it's really kind of tailored for you and what you want, which is awesome. Especially for me, I really wanted to meet once a week just so I can kind of figure out what was the problem with my studying. Because some weeks it's either like too much phone time or some days it's just like I don't really feel like doing that assignment. But trying to figure out ways to incorporate what I like to do and making that into my study habits so that way it's not such a task to study, which is really helpful. It's lunchtime. We're off campus on Monroe Street. We're at a restaurant uh, that serves Korean food. Really good stuff. 
Uh, Monroe is a great place to go off campus for some cuisine. So we've got Hawaiian food places, we've got sushi, some cheap burgers if you just want a little snack, and a ton more. So there's a little bit for everyone. So whatever you're craving off campus, we've definitely got it on Monroe. I'm gonna eat this, dig in, and then we'll get back to work. I just got off work. It's really nice working on campus. A great freshman year job is working in the dining halls. They have discounted food as well as a really flexible work schedule so you can kind of weave it into your day. But now that the work day's done, I think it's time we have a little bit more fun. Here we are at Orange Media Network, OSU Student Media Organization. It's kind of a hidden gem on campus. They have a TV station, radio, a newspaper, even a fashion magazine. I personally work with TV and I meet so many awesome people. And you don't even have to be a media major to join. The next place I want to show you is the Craft Center. This is a great place to just de-stress, get creative. I come here a lot during my midterms and finals weeks where I just don't want to do any schoolwork and I can just be creative. No matter what you're into though, you'll find it here and it's totally free. This is MU Lanes and Games. You've got bowling, pool tables, even a gaming lounge, which is really fun. Great place to spend some time in between classes or even after school. Great place to hang out with friends and uh, have a good time. Yes! But it's not a strike, because I missed it the first time. <laughs> Bowls. <laughs> And that's pretty much all I do in a day. Now before we head home, let's take a little bit of a walk around campus. Because honestly, it's one of the best parts about going to OSU. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hopefully you kind of got to see a little bit of a sneak peek of what your life could be at OSU. I definitely love my time here, but the experience is definitely what you make of it. So don't be afraid to try new things, uh, get to know people. You never know who your next friend is gonna be. And definitely remember to savor everything because it does fly by way too fast. And as always, Scope Eves!